Thank you. Hi, everyone. Happy holidays. I asked Santa for a cowboy, and he brought me that guy. Holy shit. I mean, woof. I don't even know what his face looks like. I just saw a hat and a shirt unbuttoned. And I was like, meow, cow, meow. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me, it's the holidays, so I've been a little shit-faced since the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. <laughs> just a little, like not a lot. Like I got here, I just... Like a little bit, you know what I mean? Like two days ago, my dress was tucked into my tights for four hours. <laughs> You're welcome. And, <laughs> and someone was like, your dress is tucked into your tights. So, and I was like, it's the holiday. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, last time I was here, I was engaged. Now, I'm married. I'm married. Someone just booed. I hope that's because you're like, I wanted you for myself. Yeah, I'm married now. I've been married for a little bit. If I was still engaged, you would all be like, woo, you just make whale noises at me for 20 minutes. But when you're married, people are like, oh, now you know. <laughs> it sucks. You should have warned me when I was here last time. <laughs> but your dress was tucked into your tights. I get it. I love my husband. It's a husband. I love him. I love him. I love him. I do. I want to be married to him. I do. I want to. I just don't want to live with him. <laughs> I don't want to live in the same house with him. I don't know any grown adults who are like, yes, I want to live with you. It sucks living with another person. I don't want to live with another person. The second we moved in together, I was like, we should get a duplex. <laughs> Maybe two tiny houses at the end of a cul-de-sac with one fire pit for snuggling. He brings a humidity to my life that I've never experienced before. <laughs> why? Why is that? It's just like a hot, ha, ha. <laughs> the sleeping is the worst. The sleeping? Sleeping. The snoring is like nothing I've heard ever in my life. And I grew up in Maine. We got bears and shit up there. <laughs> this is like spooning the biggest bear and being like, I'll be the big spoon. <laughs> it's the loudest. Some nights it's like sleeping in an MRI machine with the knocks. I don't know how he's doing it. It's so loud. It's so loud and hot. Ha, 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 ha. He also can just go to bed. Right? Do you know what I'm talking about? Every night at 9.30, he dies a little bit for nine hours. <laughs> just decides. He can just decide. He's like, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. And within 30 seconds, he's like, <laughs> gone. <laughs> it's a hot button, apparently. Yeah, every night. Do you know the preparation it takes for me to go to bed? <laughs> like, I have to start planning at 2 p.m. to shut this shit down. <laughs> like, seriously, I have to be like, okay, it's 2 o'clock, so I should probably, no more caffeine, and dark chocolate is out, and I probably shouldn't watch the news, and um, I should just listen to, like, Sharday or Michael Buble to keep it calm. 
<sighs> yeah, he can just, he's out. He doesn't even, my problem is I lay down and there's a million final thoughts. As soon as I get vertical, my brain's like, hey girl, <laughs> get a pen. We have some things to figure out. <laughs> he doesn't even have a final thought. He might have one final thought. It's like, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I'm a dick. And then he just goes to bed. <laughs> a lot of true crime so for me <laughs> you are the hottest drunkest crowd <laughs> I like it thank you for coming to my level <laughs> I watch a lot of true crime 2020 48 hours the ID channel on a loop yeah podcast I'm a murderino I love all of it okay here's the deal when I lay down to go to bed my final thought is always someone probably followed me home from the stop and shop <laughs> because they want some of this. <laughs> they saw me touching the fruits with my tiny hands and they got a thing for tiny hands. And they're going to get in. So I wear a lot of pajamas with layers like Velcro, zippers, buttons, buttons, buckles, right? Because if you're gonna get to my shit, you're gonna work for it, you know what I mean? I also always wear matching pajamas and people are like, for your husband? I'm like, no, I could come to bed in a chicken suit. And he'd be like, I want chicken, Ch we want chicken, chicken. Chicken. I wear matching pajamas because what if I die in my sleep. I know, but think about this. What if when you die, what you're wearing is what you have to wear in the afterlife? <laughs> right? Yeah, ponder on that. I don't wanna show up at the new Dead People Mixer wearing a blown out crotch pair of leggings and a who farted t-shirt. You guys, you're amazing. Have a